Okay, welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com or wherever you're listening to this podcast right now. So today's topic is your zone of comfort. So a lot of people have said over the years, you know, you can't um, grow outside of your comfort zone. And I get what they're saying. And I agree with that. I've actually said something to that effect um, in my teaching and in my content is that eventually you've got to get out of your comfort zone. But if you're looking to start a business, if you're looking to start making money outside of your job, right, and that is in line with what I'm doing with the Sprint to Freedom um, community that is going to open up in June, if you're looking to make money outside of your job and you just jump into something new, right, you may be able to make some money doing that, right? There's kind of a thing of succeeding in spite of ignorance. Like, you know, a lot of people have said that, um, you know, beginner's luck, right? That that's the, the term, the colloquial term that's used a lot of times. It's beginner's luck. But eventually beginner's luck runs out. And if you're going to succeed on a consistent basis, you have to do so you know, based upon your skills and and your mindset, right? The struggle with going into something completely new is that if you're going to do this full time or, or you're going to do it to the point that you're able to leave your current job, what if that beginner's luck runs out and the rent's due or the mortgage is due or the car payment's due, Right? You can't really base that. You can't depend on beginner's luck. You've got to have some sort of knowledge about that particular industry that you're jumping into. So your zone of comfort is not a bad thing. As a matter of fact, I would suggest you stay in that zone of comfort, at least initially, to start getting momentum to, you know, really get your feet wet when it comes to entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is a very scary thing for a lot of people. A lot of people are afraid that they're going to run out of money, that it's going to fail, it's going to be this huge embarrassment. What if I have to move back home? What if I have to do all this, right? So, you know, it can be very scary for a lot of people. And, and, you know, some of that is mindset. Some of that is, you know, focusing on the negative, overly focusing on the negative, Instead of preparing for whatever scenario could come up, right? You know, you could expend energy preparing for multiple scenarios instead of worrying about all the bad things that can happen. But beyond that, I think you have to stay in that zone of comfort, at least initially, so you can understand what it means to create income as an entrepreneur, as a business person. That comfort level will help you. It's a lot like learning how to swim with floaties or with, um, you know, a a lifesaver, right? A, A life preserver, a life raft. You know, when you learn how to scuba dive, they give you all of these different equipment so you don't drown in the ocean, okay? Not only is it bad for you losing your life, you know, God forbid, but it's, you know, it's bad for the company too. It's bad, you know, for their insurance. It's bad for their liability, right? So they're going to make sure that you don't drown in whatever body of water that you're learning how to scuba dive, right? So in the same way, that comfort, that knowing, that knowledge that you have in that field, okay? Let's say you want to you wanna be um, an entrepreneur, but you know how to, 
you know, power wash houses, right? And you might say to me, well, I don't want to do that for five years. I get that, right? But could you make money doing it now? Yeah, you could. All right. Instead of doing client work, why not create a course on the best way to power wash your house? Okay. Why not create a course on how to increase the value of your home when you're trying to sell it? Okay. Would, would that be something that you'd be interested in? And for most people, it would be yes. Right. So that's a way that you could do that. You could create a course based on what you know as a power washer, right? Or if it's landscaping, you know, how, how to increase the value of your home through landscaping, right? Make it 50 bucks, right? Is a, is a $50 investment worth an extra 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand in sales price? I would say so, right? I think that's a pretty good investment. These are the types of ideas that you can come up with based on things that you already know. And I think that that's really the core message of what I'm trying to get to you is that you can create things based on what you know, and then you just stack knowledge, you stack those experiences up, and then in time, you're able to branch out and do the things that you truly want to do because the things that you know how to do are making you money you're able to um, leverage that money into investments, into um, real estate, into other things that will make you money while you're doing the things that you truly want to do, if that makes sense. It's about making a profit now so you can live in your passion later. A lot of people want to jump into their passion now. And I'm not saying that you can't do that, but if you have responsibilities, if you have a family, if you have a home that you have to take care of, if you're the main breadwinner in your family as I am, then it's a lot different decision for me than it would be for a 21-year-old who is living at home. No, you know, no judgment whatsoever. Do you, right? If that's your situation, Please take advantage of that and do what you love to do because you have a few years to make it work, right? I'm not saying I don't have a few years. I do, but I have responsibilities along the way. So the things that I step out and do as an entrepreneur, they need to start making money now, okay? But you can make money now with the things you already know how to do. There's no, there doesn't have to be a year time frame for you to start making money right away if you start now, okay? And the way you start now is to leverage what you do know how to do, right? You know, if you work in the office, what are the main things that 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 you are responsible for in the office? You know, if you're, you know, a project manager, do you know how many people could learn project management? Like, how many people need to know about project management? Even in their own life, the amount of things in their house, the amount of things in their life that are undone because they don't know how to manage time. They don't know how to manage resources. They don't know how to delegate. They don't know how to, you know, budget. All of that is project management. That's a great way to make money. That's a great, you you know, you can create a course to teach people how to manage their lives. Right. And in doing so, you can generate the income, like I said, to start doing the things that you truly want to do. Because once you create that course and you're selling it, right, it makes money 24-7. It's making money 24-7, 365, and you are on to the next thing, right? True entrepreneurs don't just stick with one thing. They start with one thing, but they don't end with one thing. They start with one business, You know, and then they move into another business and they move into another thing. And before you know it, you know, they've started 20 businesses and probably sold 10 of them. And now they're worth, you know, uh, multi millions, if not billions of dollars um, 
And they're just so far away from what started, right? My point in all this, and I'm going to close with this, right? Don't allow, you know, when someone says you got to step out of your comfort zone, if you're going from a nine to five into entrepreneurship, you're already stepping out of your comfort zone, okay? Because most people never leave the nine to five. Most people never start, okay? You're going, you're already going out of your comfort zone, right? But you want to kind of keep one foot in that zone of comfort so you can start making some money and start getting some wins and getting that momentum. And then as you build that momentum, start doing the things that you truly want to do. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to go to my website, gameplanplaybook.com. Talk more about uh, the Sprint to Freedom course and, and what it you know, what will, what it will do for you, um, what that community will do for you as well as some of my other programs. And thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you soon.